Hey guys, Stormy here with AndroidSpin.com. We're going to take a look at a new product from iHome. Uh, it's the iC50. Uh, iHome generally used to make, or generally does make a whole lot of uh, products for iOS uh, iPhones, specifically iPod Touches, uh, a lot of docking stations, music players, and things like that. They recently jumped into the Android market uh, just a couple of weeks ago, I believe it was, uh, with three new products. This is one of them. Uh, the IC50 is a FM stereo alarm clock radio. Uh, it plays and charges your Android phone for you. Uh, allows you to play music through music and any other audio files. Of course, anything will play off of your headphone jack um, through the speakers on the device. And <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and take just a quick little video walkthrough so you can kind of see what it looks like up close and personal versus just seeing a whole bunch of images. Um, so that's the speaker grill all the way around it, uh, so that's nice. On the left-hand side, and here is one speaker. On the other side is another speaker. Uh, on the back, there is no speaker. It's just a grill that says iHome on it. <clears throat> Got the little logo down at the bottom. This is your clock here on the front. Gives you your AM, PM if your alarm is on or off, uh, what the alarm is set for. If you're using the buzzer or the application that comes with Android, uh, for your Android device, excuse me, that uh, allows you to wake up to your own music or um, slowly wake up to various other tones and things. On the top, we have a, a rubbery style finish here uh, with the controls for your clock. Um, they're all in white. Nothing sticks up. You can kind of feel the white writing slightly. These don't glow or do anything, which would have been a nice addition because when it's dark in your room, trying to find buttons sometimes is tricky. If you know where they're at and you've used it a couple of times, uh, it's not too bad. Uh, here on the left, you have the snooze. Uh, great function is you can set the snooze for whatever time you want, all the way up to 29 minutes, I do believe it was. Uh, so you can set the snooze for however long you want the snooze to be instead of generalized times that a lot of uh, clock radios do on their own. Uh, on the right is the dim button, the dimmer switch. Uh, so you can see here, we'll go ahead and change the dim. There's four different settings, bright, medium, low, and ultra low. Uh, that's almost impossible to see at night. Just barely bright enough. If you can, if you look over, you'll be able to see the time, but it's not going to disturb your sleep. Uh, you also have your radio station buttons to change the radio stations uh, up or down. Uh, this is also used to set the clock and set the time or set the alarm. Uh, on the right, we've got the volume down and volume up buttons. Power to turn the radio or your uh, device that you have plugged in, the auxiliary input jack on or off. Um, mode will switch from your radio mode to the aux input mode, uh, sleep, uh, so the sleep timer, and then the alarm clock. Um, so you can set the alarm. On the back, we have your FM, big old long style FM cord. Uh, the time set, you press this button here to set the time. Uh, DST, which is Daylight Savings Time, uh, you turn, press that to turn the time, Daylight Savings Time on and off, uh, which is really nice because it prevents you from having to run through 23 hours when the clock's changed to where you have to reset the clock. Uh, just press the button, up or down an hour. Um, here's where you plug the device in. It comes with your wall plug, of course. Uh, the clock does not have any sort of battery system to it. You can't buy some... C batteries, D batteries, there's no big lithium ion battery built into it, doesn't charge up, you can't take it off the wall plug and use it without it being plugged in. Uh, it does have a battery compartment down here. Uh, this is where the memory battery is actually located, which if you unplug the, the clock to move it to a different room, that keeps your time, your alarms, all the settings and all the radio stations that you have set up and everything you've got going on on the, on the device itself. So moving it around is not a hassle. You don't have to reset everything and reset your alarms. That's a nice addition. be kind of cool if we could take this with us without having to have it plugged in. Um, I'd like to have it outside when I'm working in the yard or whatever so I can still have a clock and a radio all at the same time without having to look at my phone. Um, as I mentioned, these don't light up on the top, which is kind of downside. Um, but we'll get into where your, your phone goes now. Um, right here is where the phone is. There's a back plate to help prop it up. You can see we've got this USB slider located right here. It's on a track. Uh, you slide it into the track. You don't have to use the track. Um, it's pretty stiff. It's not going anywhere. Click it all the way over to, uh, to release it. Uh, so you can spin it or whichever direction you need uh, the plug to be. 
Back here we've got the auxiliary 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. This pops off easily. And you can see on the inside we have uh, cord spots where you can stick the cords so that they can be out of the way and not getting jumbled up. You have a USB plug, uh, which is nice. It means you don't have to use the one they provide for you. Um, the one they provide is fairly short. As you can see, it's not very long. So you can plug in a different USB plug into that. So if you want to use an MP3 player, charge your MP3 player, or another device that might be running off of a mini USB versus a micro USB, you can just use any other cord you want. Uh, the switch down here is to turn the power on and off to the USB. Um, of course, this unplugs as well. Uh, so you have a headphone, the headphone cable. If you want to get a longer one or you have a longer one around, it might be very helpful. Um, a couple of issues I've run into with the product, uh, just the way it is designed right now. If you put the headphone jack through the back, uh, you can see it's not all that long. So if you have your player on the top, it might be your, or your plug. The plug on the top of your device, it, it might not uh, might not plug in so well. Uh, similar with the charger, uh, if your charger is not on the bottom or the side of your phone, you're going to run into some issues where it won't reach the top, uh, so you won't be able to place your device vertically. Uh, another issue, which I didn't don't think iHome really thought about at the time when they were uh, creating this product, is when this is plugged in, the USB port uh, and the charging port on your phone is really holding holding the device in place. This little part is nice, but as you can see, nothing really sits in it except in vertical, and then it's really tucked in, so it would have to be plugged in, and then it would stay in place. Uh, same with sideways, it's hard to prop it up if it's not plugged in. It slides around a lot. Would have been nice if this was rubberized as well so it held the phone in place. Uh, especially if you have a top charging device or a side charging uh, plug where you want to not make the phone sit this way and you want it to actually be vertical. It'd be nice if this was a little wider and a little more rubberized so that it held the phone in place so you could bring a cord up out of the side and plug it into the side so you could still go vertical with it if you wanted to. Uh, another issue with that of course is using this cord if it's in there Getting vertical is not too big of an issue, but it can be kind of uh, stressful and, and stretch it out. And if you try to come through the back, it's definitely too short, and I can't make it reach the top of my Vibrant to charge it in a vertical position. Um, other than that, it sounds pretty good. We'll go ahead and turn the radio on real quick. goes up 40 sounds pretty good uh, I don't have as much bass and as much punch to it as I'd like but it's still just a clock radio for your bedroom uh, with the added bonus of being able to plug your phone in listen to your music and uh, you charge your device at the same time uh, in addition to the product itself there's also an app it's called iHome sleep uh, kind of go over that in the review the written review that will talk about how the application will allow you to fall asleep to soothing sounds um, you can set it to wake you up to whatever music you want that's on your device. Uh, you can also track your sleeping habits by uh, tapping on um, bedtime and wake up, and it'll track all of your sleeping patterns for you so you can keep an eye on how much sleep you're getting, when you're getting it, and uh, things like that, which is kind of nice. It also has weather integration, and it will put your news from the night on your screen as well from your Facebook and your Twitter account, so you'll be able to check in and see what's going on uh, first thing in the morning. Overall, it's a pretty great device. I just think that there should be a few little changes to it. I would like to see these uh, either have a backlight, backlit LED of some sort, or potentially just make this a glow-in-the-dark style uh, material across where it reads out and what it says so that it will glow in the dark and so you could see it while, it was, uh, while you're sleeping when you wake up. That would be kind of nice. Uh, I think we could probably do away with this entirely if we switched it to Bluetooth. If your phone's plugged in, obviously Bluetooth doesn't matter so much if it's running and you're utilizing it. Uh, you could potentially even keep this and add Bluetooth. That'd be a nice function. 
And uh, if we went with Bluetooth, I'd also like to see him make this a speakerphone at the same time. So if you're laying in bed and somebody calls you, you can just hit answer on this and talk to them while you're sleeping and hang up. Uh, instead of having to reach up, unplug your phone, you have to unhook the cable here, you have to take it off the charger, answer it, and talk to people. Uh, unless you're good enough to reach over and, and turn the phone on to speaker uh, and then hear it. But if it's running through this, of course, they're not going to hear you talking because there's no mic on the, on the device. Um, so that could be a potential negativity uh, that might hinder a lot of people's experiences. Um, check out the full review on AndroidSpin.com, of course. And down below, you'll have a link for where you can purchase one of these if you're interested in taking a look at them and getting your hands on one. Uh, they're definitely affordable and worth the money. Uh, so take care. You guys have a good rest of your day, and I hope you enjoy the review.